organize, organize, prioritize materials. Thing is, when you're learning a language, it's important to have certain kind of materials. And I get a lot of um, materials, and some of them I bought it, some of them I just found online, and it's handy. So I put them, I put them in on Discord. If you're on Discord, feel free to ask me. I will share you uh, the links with you, so you can download and use it, whatever you want. So um, it's important when you start learning language to gather some materials. That's helpful. On the internet out there, you'll find a lot of materials. The question is, are they helpful? And the problem is with this language, you don't find up-to-date materials that you can use, and that's bugging me a lot. Because when you find certain kind of books, they seem helpful, but they are not. If you're looking for English, many English materials, those materials are more, you have more quality into it. And this one not, because you will see, you will get sometimes a copy of a book, a really old book, that's teaching Vietnamese. And sometimes when you buy a new book, they are really to the basic, because it's a tone language. So it makes it really difficult to find the correct material. So I went out there and looked for, took me a while to look for some materials. I'm not saying these are the best materials, I'm saying these are the materials that I think is going to work for me. Maybe it will work for you, maybe not. I don't know. But um, I just found the materials. I put it on Discord. I will share some with you. You can start using it. I think that when you have a book and it's teaching you a certain kind of topic, for some people it may work for some people not and I'm one of those people it will not work just by reading it and assuming I'm learning it there need to be more than that so um, I'm making a combination so sometimes I will use the book sometimes I will use listening sometimes I use Anki you know to combine this thing and to learn the language but the most important part is start speaking with people make mistakes and I think by making the mistakes a lot I will learn from it faster than reading a book and hope to remember it because um, when I see someone and speak Vietnamese, I will just try to talk to them. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I learn from it. That's how I see it. Because if you have a book and you don't have someone to guide you really well in it, it's not going to work. Even if you have one person that guides you, it's also not going to work because when you talk with a different person, they cannot understand you. That's why it makes it difficult. So what I'm going to do, I have the materials, I will practice them, but these are small, um, small part of the learning process. What really helps is just talk to people and make mistakes, make a lot of mistakes until you get better. It's that simple. Let me give you an example. If I talk with someone, if they say something, I would just repeat what they say and ask them, hey, am I saying it correct? And what does it mean? That's one of the way. Okay. You don't have to have material for that. Just repeat what someone say. And that's one way that you can learn faster. That's how I see it. It may be different for you, but that's how I see it. So I got a lot of materials. You'll find it in Discord. If you're on a Discord, ask me. I will share it with you. And there you can see how we can uh, learn the language together. So this is it. And a couple of weeks, I'm going to practice really hard. Let's see how it's going to work. And I'm curious. The only thing is, I can remember. I can remember things fast, but the thing is, I'm going to have a difficulty, uh, what's going to be hard for me is the tone of the language. So I'm curious about that. And if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. If you want to know more about learning language with Vietnamese, feel free to contact me on Discord. And I will see you in the next video.